think this should be the wide receiver the 49ers target in the first round if they get that high. Wide receiver Traylon Burks, Arkansas. Six foot two, 225, the yards after catch guy of this draft. And, and not only just the yards after catch, as you can see in the, the very first play, the dude can track the deep ball like no other. Um, now, he's not a huge separation route guy, but what he does do is he adjusts very, very well in um in the air and is able to go get the ball now a lot of his production came from screens bubble screens whatever but you also see this downfield deep wide receiver profile that he brings he's 6 2 225 and ran a 4 5 5 40. that's a lot of size to move at that speed and so if you want physicality you want yards after the catch you want i mean he just this is against alabama now so like you you say whatever you want and you can just see he's physical through the catch and understanding where he is on the field. This dude's a baller. Now, he can play outside. He can play inside. You know, my comp for him is Josh Gordon. Uh, you look at the so height, speed, you know, weight, build. Oh, here you can see him coming across the middle. Uh, very good coverage underneath. Yeah, I mean, that was contested, just the deep drag route. And, man, props to number 13 for doing his film work, understanding where he's going. Had help over top. That was good. Yeah, that's frustrating. Ball just didn't get to him. Good coverage. That was really, really good coverage. And, again, you know, wears 4X gloves, but whatever they measured his hands, they were, like, just under 10 inches, which is still huge. Yeah, he had four drops on the year, and so that's one of the things that are going to be an issue. I mean, could he have one-handed snagged this one for sure? Um, but it was actually a pretty good ball. I think his his right arm was kind of pinned back, but in the good no-call there. That was just better coverage. <laughs> Dang much. Here he's in the back. You can kind of see they, they do these bubble screens and just get him the ball, but that's all you got to do. Hey, you just put the ball in this guy's hands and you just let him create because he's he's a monster, man. And you can see he's got a guy on his ankles and he's falling forward. This is a guy, again, yards after catch, physicality, and just size. He is a physical freak. 6'2", 225. Dude is built. And he got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Does have safety help over the top. But yeah, this is just, I'm going at my stud versus your stud. Covered, ball in the air. Look at that, man. Oh my gosh. It doesn't matter. He's covered. I don't care. I'm just going to throw it open and let him go back and get it. And once he gets it, you want to talk about speed? I don't think there's a question on speed there. I mean, he's outrunning the entire, the entire Alabama secondary. I mean, it, it's not even close. Like... You can see some of these guys have an angle on them, but that's 4 five, 5 speed. Dude just takes over games, and there are several times where he just imposes his will. This is DeAndre Hopkins-esque, right? I mean, this dude is completely covered out of the route. You just throw it up and just let this guy go get it. <laughs> and maybe you want to say offensive pass interference. They don't like calling that. This is what the NFL, this is what college football wants. They ain't calling that, but... The fact that he catches this ball and he's going to score. <laughs> I mean, you could just see the strides. Elusiveness, power, speed, physicality. He's got it all. And these are the things that, man, if the 49ers do have to trade Debo, which they should not, and I hope they don't, tell me Kyle Shanahan doesn't watch this and say, huh, I could do something with this. I could do something with this. I, I love Traylon Burks. Um, you know, I have him in my top 10 overall, just because of what he does that's so special that other people in this wide receiver class do not do. Um, I think that he'll probably go in the middle of the first round, uh, closer to the kind of 15 to 20 range. But I'm telling you right now, if Debo is traded, he shouldn't be. But if he is, Traylon Burks should be very, very high on your list. Just want to say thanks for watching and supporting the 49ers Rush Podcast channel. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so in the middle of the screen now. And here are a few extra videos if you want to check that out for some more 49ers content. Just want to say thank you. And as always, stay strong, faithful.